Back in the early 70s, Johnny Cash had a song that was quite popular. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was about something about Sunday morning. I think it was called Sunday Morning Coming Down or something like that. Now, I, I liked the song, but it always made me feel like, gave me a feeling of almost hopelessness or it, it was sort of a, I don't know, it was, it was sort of like, you may as well shoot me now. But I, I liked the song anyway. It had a nice melody and a nice sort of ballad to it. Uh, and uh, whenever I have a, a Sunday morning, like this morning is, I think of that song. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, um, so so anyway, I'm trying something different this morning. Uh, you'll notice on the uh, insert of the uh, looking outside the front window that uh, sitting on the hood of my car is a little uh, device. Well, it's actually a sound recorder, just an ordinary audio recorder. And right now I'm trying to sync it in with the video that's going on. It's, I love doing stuff like this. And uh, uh, I don't know how it's going to work because uh, it's a little bit, a little bit windy out there. And uh, I should have maybe started this earlier when, before there was any wind. But I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear the birds and maybe the squirrel that lives in, in that tree out there, uh, you know, it's synchronized in with the video at exactly the same time to within one thirtieth of a second. What? Oh, this? Oh, okay, well, well here's what's happened. One of the viewers, who I won't say his name, but he made a comment that I should wear a different shirt in yesterday's video. And so I thought, okay, why not? I've got this shirt. I, I got this shirt, by the way, from General Tools of Canada. And now what's going on up there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my neighbor has no idea that the camera's running. Well, <laughs> she probably won't see this video anyway. Uh, she's going to probably... It looks like she's probably going to look for dandelions. We have such great neighbors here. Now, this was not staged. I did not phone her up and say, Hey, you want to be on today's video? Come on over. Anyway, so, so General Tools of Canada saw my, a lot of my workshop videos. And, and uh, they uh, thought uh, maybe I could do a little advertising for them. In fact, they actually asked me, Would I be willing to, you know, to try some of their tools? I, I, I got a feeling I'm going to have to dub some of this out. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. I, I, I hate to have to reshoot something like this. Uh, anyway, uh, they, they wanted me to actually try out some of their tools and put them in my workshop videos. And I, I, I turned them down because I said that I, I realized that, that if I was to do that, I could not be 100% uh, you know, 100% fair because I think the idea was they they give they maybe they give me the tool uh, or let me use it for nothing if I would you know review it for them, and and I like to be really honest in a review like that. I don't like to be under pressure to maybe sort of hide the flaws and praise the the things that are good if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, so anyway they. They gave me this shirt, and a, there's also a poster that they gave me that you may have seen on the wall uh, uh, in uh, in, the, in the in my workshop. Uh, it was a general tools post poster. I forget exactly what it said now, even though I've seen it thousands of times. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let, let's uh, let's get going here today. Uh, oh, one one of the uh, viewers was mentioning about this this stylo resin I, I I really think it's a good idea to give it a try and and he was saying that the uh, stylo res sprays good out of a 0.5 millimeter a nozzle now I think this is a 0.3 
In other words, it's, it's, it's a smaller nozzle than what Stylo Rest calls for. But if you remember way back a couple of years ago when I bought the, the, uh, another nozzle, that, like this is the original nozzle, I was thinking maybe I could drill this out. The only problem is that the, the tip uh, of the nozzle is titanium, and I might have a problem drilling titanium, but, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. But the, the day is young. I don't know what's going to happen here today. About the only thing I know for sure is that my coffee, which is right now, right here, is probably going to be down to about here. That's the only thing I know for sure. Let's get going here. Now this might be a real good place to insert this, and that is later on this morning, I did see our good Samaritan neighbor out for a walk. Yeah, she was taking advantage of this beautiful Sunday morning weather. Anyway, she said that she had absolutely no problem with being in the video. I explained completely what had happened, and I uh, told her there was nothing in offensive in it, and uh, yeah, she it didn't seem to fizz on her at all. She was really nice about it gave me her email address so that I could email her a link to get her permission. Yeah, as they say, all is good. Oh, and I guess one more thing you probably notice I've put back on my good old comfy bus depot work shirt. Okay, so I went to uh, set my caliper here to uh, half a millimeter, like 0 0.5, and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't go on. So I'm thinking, well, that's funny. It worked perfectly last time I tried it. And uh, as you can see, the battery is right down. It's only uh, 117.3 millivolts uh, or so. So, uh, yeah, I guess the battery must have slowly drained. I, I guess I'll have to remember that, you know, next time I get a new battery here. I don't know if I've got a 3-volt battery that uh, is that size. I'll, I'll have to check. In fact, I'm almost sure I don't. Uh, but that's all right. I, we do have the other one. It's uh, the other caliper. It's just not as accurate as this would have been. But it'll probably be close enough. Okay, a bit of an update. I go to put this thing back in this little box here, and I see this piece of cardboard laying in there. Flip it over. Spare battery. Now, just give me 20 minutes or so to get this battery out of this package, because it never seems to work right. I will fast forward through this. Okay, please be at least three volts. Three point three four six volts. Hey, we're in business. There we go. Yeah. We can set everything uh, to precisely 0.5 millimeters. Okay, that little gap that you see? Well, that's your 0.5 millimeters. Just have to be careful not to bump anything now and get it out of whack. Now, the people at Maple Airbrush told me that uh, this tip is titanium, so I'm just assuming they know what they're talking about. After all, they, they're the, one of the Iwata Airbrush dealers here in Canada. Um, so it, it only stands to reason that they would make this, this tip a lot stronger than the brass jacket that it's plugged into here, because the, uh, the tip has the, the needle constantly being forced into it, and uh, the needle would enlarge brass quite readily, uh, whereas the titanium, of course, it won't. It'll maintain its size. Um, now, uh, obviously, some of these are way too big. For instance, this one here, I, I don't think I even need to try it because I, I can just eyeball it and see it's, it's not going to want to fit here. It is magnetized, however. Okay, let's get rid of that one. And I think this one is also the same. I don't want to be forcing anything. 
So let's try this one. This one is close. Very close. Lot of, I think a couple of these are the same size. This one is also close. This one is, is slightly too small. I can tell there's just a little bit of play there. I'll, I'll accurately measure this one later, and this one will be too big as well. Okay, let's. Uh, what I'm going to do is off camera. I'm going to uh, see which one of these three is is the closest to 0.5. I, I'm pretty sure you can buy these things up to 0.7. So if we make it if we make it a little bit too big, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. You know, now that I think about it, isn't this supposed to be 0.5 already? Let's let's see if this one will will go in there. I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's just it's just too awkward here. Uh. Okay, I've already done this, but we'll make sure we're zeroed here. That's as zeroed as we're going to get. Okay, I've already tried the smallest one in the uh, nozzle, and it won't even begin to fit. And it is, if we measure it here, point four seven eight. It's almost point five. Um, so that means this must must be a, a point three. All right. Now, if we go to what I think is the next one up here, I think it was this one here. Okay, it is almost point six. Five five point nine five is pretty close to point six. So, if we were to use say this one it would go halfway between the 5 and the 7. Um, on the other hand, if we were to try and drill it out with this one, oh, one more thing, these bits are what you would refer to as really cheap such and such bits. Um, yeah, so uh, they probably won't work. I'm, I'm probably wasting this whole day here messing around like this and I should be working with plastic, right? But you know what? I'm enjoying this. It's kind of what I like to do. So uh, first of all, we'll, we'll try and drill it out with, with this bit here and see if it works. Uh, I haven't looked at this bit under the microscope. It could be that it's all rounded off and useless. Uh, so, some of these bits that uh, came came in this package are what you might call useless. Okay, now I've got my uh, drill press set to go at its slowest speed here and uh, the, I've already run it a bit and it this this bit is a little bit wobbly. Now that I'm looking at it with my stronger glasses it this bit almost looks like it's been broken once. Now, there is a problem in that if I break the bit off on the inside of this nozzle, this nozzle's screwed. I don't think I can get the force the bit back out. Um, I'm not going to use the uh, come down with it with the drill press. I'm just going to hold it in my fingers here. There we go. Okay, um, so how far does it have to go? It, it's almost, it's almost all the way through. There's only the last, last little bit of the, of the uh, tip here to go through. So this, this might work. Even if the bit has been broken off, it's, it's still sharp. And, uh, oh, a bird just flew against the window. Poor thing. Hope it's all right. All right. Uh, yeah, you see it as it happens, folks. Let's. Uh, I'll move you in, and you can watch what I'm doing here. Um. 
Oh my, that's that's really bad. I didn't know it was that bad. Let's see if I can reposition this thing just a little bit here. I don't want to shove it too far up into the chuck because well it will have a tendency to straighten itself. good and tight. Now I don't want to be putting a whole lot of pressure on. There we go. We are in the groove you might say. up to the light I couldn't see through it and uh, just let me zoom in here you know what the uh, the tip is out of round. Okay, I think that what I'm seeing is, I think what happened was the uh, I'm looking, iron filings plugged it up. I think if I had it kept at it a little bit, it, it might have gone all the way through. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just keep at it. First of all, I'm going to try and unclog that, make sure that it's not a piece of broken bit. It would be really nice if I could show you. You just have to take my word for it. Use your imagination. Anyway, I'm going to work at this a little bit. I may go at this video again this evening, and if I do, once again, I'll attach it at the uh, beginning of tomorrow's episode. So, uh, I'm going to call it quits here for today. It's uh, not that late. But uh, I think I've pretty much had enough. Thanks for watching everybody. All been well. We'll see you tomorrow.